What if Darth Sidious killed Yoda? What if Darth Sidious killed Yoda before their duel? So when Yoda walks in and he's like, I hear a new apprentice to have, Emperor, or should I call you Darth Sidious? And then Yoda's like, Master Yoda, you survived. Uh, and then Yoda's like, surprise? And then Darth Sidious is like, Master Yoda, your arrogance blinds you. Now you will feel the full power of the dark side. And Darth Sidious shoots Yoda with lightning and Yoda gets knocked out. And that's the moment in this scenario, that's the moment where Darth Sidious jumps up to Yoda's unconscious body and Darth Sidious sticks his lightsaber on Yoda's forehead or the back of his head and ignites it and Yoda dies immediately. So Darth Sidious has killed Yoda, Yoda is dead. Now I think Darth Sidious would keep Yoda's corpse for propaganda purposes. He might use it to have it on display at a museum so that all the citizens of the Empire can see the uh, corpse of the terrorist Jedi Master who was taken out, the leader of the terrorist Jedi Order. And of course, it would be helpful to have Yoda's corpse because he, Darth Sidious would not have Mace Windu's corpse because Mace Windu's corpse was thrown out the window. So having Yoda's corpse for propaganda purposes would be very useful. And maybe, or maybe Darth Sidious would um, violate Yoda's corpse in many ways. Or maybe Darth Sidious would uh, burn Yoda's corpse and like... Maybe, maybe Darth Sidious would uh, put Yoda's corpse in the a Jedi Temple, or maybe he would put Yoda's corpse in like on a Sith planet, or maybe he may, he he would do a lot of mean things to Yoda's corpse. But anyway, um, after securing Yoda's corpse, Darth Sidious would fly to Mustafar just to check up on Darth Vader because Darth Sidious probably has a bad feeling about this, and Darth Sidious would firstly notice that Padme is passed out, and he would also realize that Padme is pregnant. And so Darth Sidious would use the Force to throw C-3PO and R2-D2 and Padme's ship into the lava. And so Darth Sidious would kill 3PO and R2 by melting them in lava. And Darth Sidious would probably secure Padme's body and put it inside a ship. <coughs> and have the clones um, attend to her. Now, Darth Sidious would watch Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader duel. And sure, Obi-Wan Kenobi would have felt Yoda's death through the Force, and Obi-Wan Kenobi would feel noticeably terrible and weak and uh, sad. But I think the fact that Yoda is dead would uh, push Obi-Wan Kenobi to succeed even more. And let's say Obi-Wan Kenobi still gets the high ground, and uh, Darth Vader jumps, and so Obi-Wan Kenobi cuts Darth Vader's legs off, and Darth Vader falls into lava and gets burned. Now Darth Sidious would watch this, and he would be incredibly angry and furious at Darth Vader for being so careless. And so, first and foremost, Darth Sidious would show up behind Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Obi-Wan Kenobi would fight Darth Sidious. And of course, Darth Sidious would win. And Darth Sidious would throw Obi-Wan Kenobi's corpse into the lava. And Obi-Wan Kenobi would get melted. And I think with um, and it, with Darth Vader, who is now a burnt up little thing, Darth Sidious would electrocute him with lightning to punish him for his failures. And although Darth Sidious wants to make Darth Vader suffer, he would also realize that if Darth Vader survived, then he would have been dead against Darth Sidious and become a big threat later, like Darth Maul did. And so Darth Sidious would basically um, have to kill Darth Vader on the spot. He would just throw Darth Vader's uh, body into lava and melt it just to prevent any future, um, future problems that might arise if Darth Vader survives. And so Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Darth Vader are all dead, and Darth Sidious has Padme. And Padme will be horrified by Darth Sidious, and she'll be like, no, 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 no. And then Darth Sidious would be like, yes, 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 yes. And so Darth Sidious would force Padme to give birth. And I think Padme would try her best to resist Darth Sidious, but since Darth Sidious is so strong, she would probably uh, be forced to do it anyway. And after giving birth, after Padme gives birth, Darth Sidious would kill Padme, and Darth Sidious would take Luke and Leia, and he would raise them. So, yeah, and I assume Darth Sidious would probably blame Padme's death on the Jedi or something. Oh, and actually he might use Obi-Wan Kenobi's corpse propaganda as well. He might say Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi, the big terrorists and all that. But anyway, Darth Sidious raises Luke and Leia. And meanwhile, Bail Organa. Yeah, what happens to Bail Organa in this picture? I think obviously Yoda's death would be massively publicized. So Bail Organa would realize that Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi got skewered. 
and Bail Organa would try to uh, make sure that he doesn't get implicated in any of the Jedi plots, and Bail Organa would just keep doing his thing and keep building out the rebellion. Sure, he would feel disheartened, but I think Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi would become martyrs for the rebellion cause, and so Bail Organa would still do his thing. He would still be in the picture. Of course, he just wouldn't have Leia with him. That's the only difference. And so meanwhile, Darth Sidious would... I don't think Darth Sidious would take a new apprentice immediately. I think he would raise Luke and Leia to be his new apprentices. And so the Inquisitors would still do their thing. Darth Sidious would still do his thing. And I think in this case, um, Kirik Infala would probably come to kill Darth Sidious. Kirik Infala from the Charles Soule comic, that is. Darth Darth Vader comic, that is. And so Kirik Infala would fight Darth Sidious and Darth Sidious would kill Kirik Infala. Uh, Theron Barr would do his thing and Darth Sidious would kill Theron Barr. Darcidius would find Eeth Koth and kill him, because I don't think Darcidius would allow for Inquisitors alone to handle Eeth Koth. I think Darcidius would try to handle it himself. And Darcidius would also try to go after Jocasta Nu, and he would try to kill her. Although I think Jocasta Nu would be smart enough to realize that if Darcidius gets a hold of her, then it's going to be a disaster. So I think Jocasta Nu would probably... uh, become one with Force intentionally. I think Jocasta Nu would probably commit suicide before Darth Sidious is able to catch her. And so meanwhile, Darth Sidious has been incredibly effective and Luke and Leia are being raised by Darth Sidious himself. So therefore, because uh, Luke and Leia are being directly trained by Darth Sidious, they would grow up to become insanely powerful. And meanwhile, I think all the Inquisitors um, would die off eventually, or maybe Darth Sidious would get rid of them. And so and so. Now, in terms of Ahsoka Tano and Kane and Jarrus and Ezra Bridger, I think the Rebels thing would all turn out the same. Except maybe Darth Sidious might send Luke and Leia to take care of... Or actually, no, no, no. Let me backtrack. So I think at the time of Star Wars Rebels, Darth Sidious would send Luke and Leia. Remember, Luke and Leia are the same age as Ezra. And so Darth Sidious would send Luke and Leia. And of course, they would not be named Luke and Leia in the scenario because Darth Sidious would have named them. But anyway, Darth Sidious would send Luke and Leia to find out what's going on with the rebels and Luke and Leia would kill Ahsoka Tano and they would kill Ezra Bridger and they would kill Kanan Jarrus. Now maybe, maybe, maybe um, Luke and Leia might capture Ahsoka Tano and bring her to Darth Sidious who would then kill her. So who knows what would happen there. And I think Luke and Leia would hunt down Darth Maul and they might be successful in destroying Darth Maul. So maybe Darth Maul would die at the hands of Luke and Leia. And Darth Sidious and Luke and Leia would rule the galaxy. And they would destroy the Rebel Alliance, blow up Alderaan with the Death Star, and just kill everyone. And I think without Luke on the Rebel team in this scenario, I think the Death Star would just succeed in blowing up any planet and just staying around and not being getting blown up itself. So, yeah, I mean, would Luke and Leia turn on Darth Sidious? Probably. Would he be able to kill them? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Because if Luke and Leia have been trained by Darth Sidious, they would be super powerful, but... Darth Sidious is still super powerful, so maybe he would still win, so... I mean, this is what would happen if Darth Sidious managed to kill Yoda before the duel. Now, if Darth Sidious killed Yoda after the duel, or during the duel, maybe this wouldn't have happened, because it, this scenario depends all on timing. A lot of scenarios depend on timing. So if Darth Sidious killed Yoda late into the duel, then maybe he would get to Mustafar a little too late. Darth Sidious would get to Mustafar a little too late, and Obi-Wan would have already taken Padme and fled. And so, who knows what would happen there. Now, in this in a scenario where Darth Sidious kills Yoda late into the duel, or maybe a little after the duel, and Obi-Wan Kenobi manages to escape, so in a scenario where Yoda dies but Obi-Wan escapes, that gets a little more complicated because would Yoda know what to do with Luke and Leia? Would Yoda be, would Obi, excuse me, would Obi-Wan know what to do with Luke and Leia? Would he be able to train them properly? Would he be, because I think it's, it's getting a little long. Uh, maybe we'll do that in a different video, but I think uh, to make things short, if Obi-Wan survived and Yoda died, Obi-Wan probably just decided to unilaterally train Luke and Leia on his own. So I don't know what would happen there.